Hello, I'm Tom and welcome to the ProCycle YouTube channel. Today we're continuing on with our LED upgrades to the TW200 project bike by adding some sweet LED turn signals. We opted to go with LED turn signals for many reasons. Compared to incandescent bulbs, they last longer, are brighter, react faster to writer input, and they offer a sleeker, more modern touch to the bike. Now, to get started, remove the headlight cowling as we'll need to access the wires and dash indicator behind it. There is one screw located below the headlight. Remove that and then grab the bottom of the cowling and peel it out and up from the bike. As you do this with your other hand, apply pressure from the top to pull it away and out of the rubber grommets it's attached to. To remove the headlight, you'll need a 10 millimeter socket. Remove the bolts located on the sides of the headlight assembly. Gently pull the headlight out and unplug the electrical connector. Set it aside somewhere safe that it won't fall down from. Moving on, we start to unplug the front turn signal wire bullet connector. If you don't have a repair manual, this would be a good time to note which wires were connected to each turn signal. Next, with a 17mm wrench, remove the nut holding the turn signals in place and completely remove them from the bike. You can now install and fasten down your new LED turn signals. Start with your left turn signal positive wire from the bike. This is a green wire. Ground is black with a double bullet connector to it. If you have the cat eye LEDs like we do, that's going to be yellow to green and black to black. The right positive signal wire from the bike is brown to yellow and the ground will go into the double bullet connector with the left side negative wire. If you have a single turn signal indicator on your dash, you will need to install the diode kit we offer on our website. Start by cutting the dark brown wire and dark green wire going from the white six pin connector to the turn signal indicator on the dash. Connect the blue diode wire to the dark green wire coming from the indicator dash harness. Now connect the extra black wire in the diode kit to the dark brown wire. This will need to be ran to a metal ground somewhere on the bike. Cap off the brown wire and the green wires on the 6 pin connector end. You should be left with a positive signal wire from one of the turn signals and splicing in one of the red wires from the diode. Repeat this process with the other turn signal wire. Be sure to use shrink tubing and or black electrical tape to help seal the connection. We crimped on an eyelet connector to make grounding it much easier. We opted to go for one of the headlight mounting holes on the headlight bracket. Sand the paint away down to bare metal, just big enough for the eyelet to make contact, and reinstall the headlight with one of the bolts running through the eyelet, pinching it against the frame. Gently and neatly bundle up any extra wires with a zip tie and reinstall your headlight cowling. The next step in this process is to replace the flasher relay with an LED flasher relay. This will allow your new LED turn signals to blink properly. Start by removing the right side panel. The relay is located on the frame above the rear brake light switch. Remove the relay and unplug the harness from it. Cut the zip tie holding the wires to the frame as we'll need to remove the plug going to the relay and crimp on the supplied female spade connectors to the now freshly cut wires. Connect the brown and white wire to the L pin on the relay and connect the tan wire to the remaining pin. You can now zip tie this back to the frame or tuck it into the tray above the tool bag behind the side panel as we show in the image here. Go ahead and replace your side panel now. Carrying on to the last step, we are going to install the rear LED turn signals. Start by slipping back the rubber boot covering the threads of the stock blinker. You'll need a 17mm wrench to loosen and remove the nuts holding the blinkers in place. Disconnect the blinkers by unplugging the bullet connectors. Now you can install your new LED turn signals. If you have the cat eye LEDs like we do, the wiring should go like this. Left turn signal is yellow to green and black to black. The right turn signal yellow wire goes to the dark brown wire and the black to black. 
All right, if you removed any zip ties, go ahead and zip tie everything back up into place and test your work. And congratulations on the install of your LED blinkers on your TW200. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you like these videos, please give us a thumbs up as it really helps our algorithm on YouTube to reach more writers like yourself. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and remember, the adventure begins here.